he definitely walked up to Hasairo and he was like, I'm so sorry to make you wait, man. Yeah, yeah. but it looks like he hasn't been waiting that long. But here we nah. go. Nitro, of course, I mean, he's been the player that's been on the map since the beginning with his Richter. I mean, even getting people like Hugs to watch his matches on his stream. Yeah. See, like, okay, let me put some faith back in this character For sure. by watching this player who won a big tournament, like Wednesday Night Fight, obviously. Yeah, actually, Nitro is one of my favorite players to watch in, in uh, Smash 4. He was uh, actually not as active at the very beginning because he actually never owned a Wii U until the last like six months of Smash for Wii U. And that's when he finally got the console and started grinding the game. And he started going to locals and actually making a name for himself. He used to be known as Orochi Wolf for anyone who, who knew him by that moniker. But that is no more. He is Nitro. And sitting next to him is Syro, another really great player who has uh, sets against other top players from SoCal and from out of this region. So it should be a really great set to watch. After all, quarterfinals is still going to be a best out of three. So this is a really, really high level match for, you know, really big stakes yeah. with uh, no room for error. Yeah, if you move on, then you get a guaranteed fifth place basically yeah. in the tournament. And I think with a size like this, I think fifth gets payout. So we'll have to nice. see. But here we go. Nitro and Syro actually going to Roy this time. I agree with the pick. A very fast burst option character that can really get in Richter's phase, edge guard well, and really try to get things going. And then jab into the double edge dance already to start things off. Yeah. Um, interesting that we're seeing <laughs> Yoshi's Island as a, as a starter stage. I mean, this is typically... A, I, I hear this is a great stage for, like, projectile char characters, owners. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, when you think about it, Nitro's projectiles, like the cross and the axe, it'll cover so much space right. on this stage, so you can definitely use it to your advantage. The only thing I can see is that the Holy Water, because of the slant, won't be able to edge trap as well, but you can work around that if you, if you have good spacing. I feel like what might have happened was that it was one of those things because this is one of the most commonly banned stages yeah. in, in all of uh, Smash Ultimate right now in all legal rule sets. Is that one of them might have been thinking, ah, he won't win the stage, and the other <laughs> one's like, oh, let's try it. Why Psych. not? Oh no, and that's gonna be it. No tech coming out from Nitro. That up B bringing him up towards the ledge and uh, taking a shot for it. Yeah, it's one of the harder moves to tech because of this multi hit. You don't know when you're gonna get carried to the wall, so yeah. it's kind of difficult. And and it's like hard too because you can't, you can't really say that. Uh, it was like very dominant in Cyrus' favor because up until that point, the uh, play had been very even, and it's still actually in Nitro's favor now. Has yet to take any damage on this stock, but how is he gonna take it from Cyrus? Okay, so I see what he's doing. Usually, when you just throw the holy water like while standing, then it'll just go through that slant. But he's using a jump holy water. Okay, I, I didn't know that you could do that with Richter. So now I know. All right, all the up airs coming out from Syro. That's going to be 46% already on the Nitro, who is doing such a great job of holding Syro at the ledge. But once he let him get back, it's an entirely different story. Okay, letting him recover. What's the ledge option going to be? Enough pressure from that slant. It's very difficult for Roy to get anything unless he runs and commits towards the slant and gets a down tilt to try and poke him off. But a sweet spot on that back could be able to take up the stuff. Yeah, 78% for Nitro here. It's not too bad. I mean, he's going to... All right, I like it. The up V out of shield, the show you. Yep, it is intangible uh, on startup too, Ooh. so you can break through a lot of stuff. It is basically a DP. Just like that, all that damage pretty much back to even. The directional air dodge keeps his jump, and he's going to tether back just fine. Tries to find a dare to potentially combo. Put him off stage. It's not going to work. The uh, double edge dance going to be enough at the very tipper hit of that last swing is going to do the trick to get take that stock. Oh, oh no. I like that though from Oh, I, uh, never mind. I thought he saved his jump, but I think it looks like he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, I guess he already hit him out of the jump. Boy, Interesting. He tried to air dodge towards uh, the stage to see if he get get enough horizontal distance to recover with only the up B, but that was not the case. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe he thought that Cyro wouldn't actually go for the rest of those nares, <laughs> but he went for it, man, and he got the stock because of it. Dude, it's hilarious that they even went to that stage because I feel like they played like at the ledge trying to ledge trap each other back and forth so hard and, and it was just like dude this is the worst stage for that like why do you guys do this yeah you uh, guys just look like like you guys look, look like noobs at the ledge but i know you guys aren't like it, you guys are doing the right things but the, those slants 
make it so, so much harder. Yeah, now we're going to the polar opposite. Instead of one big platform, two side platforms, and a very wide stage yeah. for a projectile character for like Richter to work with. I agree with this counter pick, but it's a matter because, like I said, Roy, that airspeed, that fastball nature, the movement that you can do with this character makes it so difficult for Nitro to pinpoint where he wants to put his projectiles against this kind of character. Just like that, one big jump, all he needed, he wasn't stuck at the ledge. His movement is fast enough to get around this stuff. Yeah, definitely, and that, that that's going to be the main key, the fact that he is so fast and has a, a sword. It's well, Albeit it's not as long of a sword as some of his other like Fire Emblem counterparts, it's still a disjoint and it, with in con like conjunction with the aggression, he's able to apply the pressure that he needs to to prevent Nitro from setting anything up. But Nitro actually looking really strong on the first stock now. Yep, getting the holy water into the fourth pack. Classic way for a Rick to set up into a kill when his other setups aren't quite working. The tech, he will get it and he will get the tether. Ooh. Ooh. All right, the back air into the uh, down angle forward air. Ooh. You know he was looking for a shield yeah, right I know. with that charge. Not quite going to work yeah. out there. Yeah, and Cyro, good stuff to him for recognizing that at the last second. He's like, oh, wait, <laughs> I got to move. Yeah, I was like, I might as well get hit. <laughs> try and get hit and before getting shield broken and potentially killed with a tip or F smash. But Nitro doing a good job of keeping up these juggles, getting that down throw, putting it on that platform. Potential tech chase. Not going to find anything, though. Right, dragging him back up towards the stage, and Nitro able to get the tech this time around, 139%. I like what Nitro did there. He decided to let the swing move to carry him towards the bottom of the stage first. Looked like Cyro was trying to look for the insta snap towards the ledge, trying to cover that instead. Not going to work out. Cyro cleaning up that first stock with a pivot casual F tilt. That is such a strong move, and the fact that you gain some distance with the uh, pivot cancel tech is, uh, is going to be really good for Roy. Yeah, he's looking for a jab. The jab is going to set up into like a potential turnaround back air, which uh, will put Nitro in a really precarious situation off stage. So while it might not kill, uh, Richter's not the character that wants to end up off stage at all. Yeah. Good of Cyro to wait, knowing that Dash Attack will cross up if he's got enough distance to go through shield. And he's going to be able to punish that with a double edge dance. But again, putting him off stage, up to catch it back up in the air. Not going to juggle with the last up air, though. But still keeping him in the air, keeping him off stage. Ooh, just man. not enough to make it yeah, and I feel I, I feel like that happened just because he had to like drift back ever slow slightly by a pixel to avoid the axe incoming and uh, was not able to make it back. So Nitro looking to work on this two stock now. I, I respect the attempt to try and edge guard Richter. That's of course the big weakness that he has. But as long as he has that tether available, it's so difficult to do that. I know he's vulnerable while he's swinging the entire time, but it's just you know the the momentum and the swing are just difficult to, to quite pinpoint the right position. And then the fact of the matter is that the tether does come out really fast. You see, he basically teleports to the ledge. Yeah. Um, and actually, I've seen some like clips uh, with Mario's cape where you take that recovery and he actually teleports to the center stage. So that that kind of functions like a teleport actually, in game, I suppose. Not gonna find it, but down tilt a very fast uh, get off me tool to be able to keep up the control. Cyro already at 155 percent. He has to go low. He's got to avoid that axe. He's not gonna find the setup. The tipper was just barely God. outside. Dude, that would have been so beautiful. But an up B. It's not going to be enough to do not. Oh my god, dude, you did not, Nitro. You did not. <laughs> How do you even go for that, dude? You don't, e you don't even need a setup to do it, man. Just, just, the, just, the raw, just the raw up B is so much damage. Dude, that was crazy. Uh, oh, that was, that was so good. <laughs> That was so huge, his brain, dude, his brain doesn't even fit in the venue, dog, what the hell? Yeah, like, a, like, a, <laughs> like an angel hunting down Dracula, this guy just <laughs> went in on him. That was crazy. Okay, when we're switching to Cyro's original character, I mean, back in Smash 4 days, he was yeah. the big contender for one of the best tacos along with Kitaro and AC. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, despite that, I haven't seen him actually uh, rock the... Falco too much in this game. Obviously, I'm sure it's still a threat as this character has been buffed since his previous iteration. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah, one of the one of the, the loyalty programs in, yeah. in Smash Four. Yeah. One thing I can say for sure though that it's gonna help him out a lot is that he will be able to t to chase him off stage and get these edge guards uh, while returning back to the stage safely himself. He does have 
so much vertical distance with his double jump and his up B, so he's usually in a pretty good spot. I see Cyro doing a good job of mixing up the timings with his shine, just to be able to try and get those projectiles out of the way, making, uh, making Nitro a little bit hesitant to start throwing out a little bit more. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yep, that is. Yeah. He uh, actually followed up with the uh, off of the late grab into a laser and then tried to catch him with the nair. I feel like the down air would have straight up just spiked. But, but uh, he went for the safe play and it ended up working out, so good stuff to Syro. Yeah, well, I can see why he might have picked Falco in this particular matchup. Roy, his hitboxes are very quick. They don't last too long, but Falco's nair, for example, and his yeah. fair core nair, they last for so long. They can cover so much space. They can cover that arc underneath that tether recovery that I was talking about earlier that's so difficult to pinpoint. He just did it right there. He used that laser, make him force it into a tether, and then just covered him. All right, trying to get the Gimp, setting up these ledge traps, and he finds a forward air. Great DI coming out from Cyro, able to live a little bit longer. Oh, no, not what you want to see. Nitro losing a stock simply to Cyro, just wanting to make it back to the stage. The up B going to send him into a stage spike. Yeah, the Firebird has a lot of power added, so if, uh, if you're not quite in the right position, then you could potentially get reversals on your reversal, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, he should be able to still make it back right here. He up speeds, but a neutral are going to get him uh, caught. Oh, God. Oh, no. Nitro, don't put yourself in that situation again. Okay. Yeah, back there will be able to do it. I like the attempt with the dare to try and spike him. That's one of the difficult things about Richter. He doesn't have too many good edge guard um, opportunities because his whip has very limited angles. It's kind of like trying to edge guard in a Castlevania game. He only has eight directions. It's not going to work out very well. Okay, the neutral air into the jabs. Uh, quick 23%. Still got a big mountain to climb here. Nitro looking for his opening. Yep. Yeah, he's got a big mountain to climb. We'll have to see. Okay, up throw into the air. Put him off stage. I like it. Force the out the up B. Try to cover him with the fair. That would have set him at an awful yeah. angle for edge guard. Not quite going to work. There. Nitro at this point, he's really trying to slow down the pace of the match and uh, getting Cyro to come in with his retreating aerials. Uh, but it's, it's just such a tricky thing because another tool that he has to sort of condition his opponent is pretty much uh, negated in this matchup since Falco has a reflector. Yeah, like I said before, Cyrus doing a good job mixing it up, making sure that the risk reward is there when he's using that shine. Put him off stage one more time. Right, the axe pressure, not going to get anything. All That's right. Still another uh, F tilt. That forward air is not going to be enough to kill. He like burns it. his double jump. Oh, he makes it back. One more chance for Nitro to bring it back. Never mind, back air. <laughs> going to catch him trying to jump back into the stage. And Cyro moving on to win his semis.